Hey, good day, Russell Traders. David here of TradingFibs.com uh, for a mid-day recap of 529, depending on where you live. Um, Pacific Coast here, so we're still almost at uh, almost lunchtime. But anyway, I um, wanted to go ahead and uh, share with you why I took the trade I did this morning, and we'll do a recap later. But uh, right now, as you can see, price has, uh, price has moved down. Uh, and re, re, rebounded. We what a day we've had on the market to uh, have a high yesterday of 1,005. Come all the way back down to 980, 978. 250 tick drop. Um, but uh, only one entry for me so far today. Probably the only entry on uh, two contracts underneath the 25-minute open range. Uh, but let's go take a, go ahead and take a look why I decided to take that trade and uh, take it through the steps of my entry and my exits. Here you can see my 25 minute open range had a low of 960, 986.8 to a high of 993. Uh, open gap traders I'm sure were excited as price was uh, already on a EMA crossover uh, from the open. So price was uh, trending up over here hopefully going to get and close that uh, daily gap, open gap. But sure enough, price just barely uh, reached up and then really came came down through. Uh, similar picture actually on all the ranges today. Uh, we have uh, the E mini up here, as well as the YM over here in the upper right hand corner. The lower left have the Nasdaq and uh, the Russell here. So very similar pictures. The probably the TF and the YM had the nicest uh, price action south of the 25 minute range border. Um, but again, I'm a Russell trader and uh, share with you why I took the trade I, I did. Uh, market internal so far for the day, we've kind of started to rebound. We have four green triangles. These are the shadow trader setups. Um, here you have the uh, market breadth. Uh, mar market breadth has been pretty much negative. We At one point, we were 3 to 1 and 2 to 1 on the NASDAQ. Um, AD line is, was really in the negative for most of the day, 1900 all the way down to 2400. I'm not going to fight the trend on that. And then my open range uh, on a 15-minute bar, you can see uh, prices move back into the 25-minute open range. So really, majority of the day so far has really been in the red. And so, you know, based on my entry rules and following my market internals, if I have red, red, red all around, a uh, trend is going to follow. Uh, if I have green over here, I'm still, even though I'm improving on the AD line, I'm improving on market breadth, to me that's, uh, still uh, still not in congruence and for me uh, hands off trading. So with the market opening uh, waiting on the 25 minute open range, no major economic data that would have swayed either way. Um, I'm looking for a short with all market internals red. My first potential bar for entering is a close below the 25 minute open range which was happening at 725. Being so close to the one hour open range, um, I was A, going to wait for that to settle. So I'm looking at a 730 bar close, including the fact that I had a monthly resistance, R2 of 985.6 over here. And on my second chart that I was looking at, I'm looking at a cam, Camarilla pivot over here of L4. So my entry, there was no way that even though the 25 minute open range at 7.25 at a price around 986.3, there was no way I was going to get in this trade until I at least got under 985.6, the monthly R2, and under 985.1, which is Chem L4. Based on my Heiken Ashi bars, I also had already come under the 25 minute open range. You could say, yeah, that, that would have worked out. Here I have a nice bar closing, a nice bar closing underneath the 25 minute open range, but I was so close to my one hour open range, you could see that price actually halted here. Could have it reversed? Absolutely. But I had some strong selling down here, hesitation along the side, but I wanted to go with the momentum, including the market internals that were going to take me all the way down. So my first technical bar ended up on a five-minute chart to be right here. 
So I took the entry at 985 on this first bar here at 740, so one hour, 10 minutes post opening time. At 740, this lined up with, here's my one hour open range. So again, I'm already under open range. So here I am at 740 price. Again, still staying within that one hour open range here. And here's my first bar coming down at 740. Here's my Heiken Ashi bar at 740. I've broken the one hour open range, strong selling signal. And so the now the next question is what was gonna be my first target? And so looking at uh, my cam L4 and knowing that S2 was down here at 980.1 I was looking at one my one hour uh, support resistance lines and so I set a target at 983.8 and my second target was going to be 980.9 .9. Um, I could have chosen also down here which was pretty close anyway to daily S2 but I decided to go with the two green lines here, one over here. So I took contracts off within 20 ticks and then with market internal supporting the drive down. Yes, we had a little bit of a bounce back up here, but what keeps me in this trade are my Heiken Ashi candles. All Strauss strong side. Here's your, here's your little buy up that you just saw on right here. And Price continued down all the way. So everybody loves transparencies. As you can see here, I had two contracts on. Uh, I took a contract off. My average price was entry was 985. My target was 980.9. .9, and I exited and took a profit of 530 on two contracts. So not a bad trade for the for the AM session. Uh, from market open, again, it's uh, discipline. It's waiting for that 25-minute open range. Market internals supported everything downside. Market breadth was negative. Advanced decliners, AD line was negative, all downwards, which was every reason that I was going to wait to break this monthly R2 and the CAM L4 and take off targets along the way. It's a personal trade management style. I'm not going to tell you where to put your stop. You need to figure out how much you're willing to lose, how much you're willing to make, but when you gotta, when you got something in trend, you gotta let it run and give it some breathing room. So this is da uh, David of TradingFibs.com. I'll be back later to give you a daily recap. Uh, have a great day.